I want to connect my Salesforce and SAP applications to share data, but I don't want to code or install and manage infrastructure. Oracle Integration Cloud Service, or ICS, enables me to perform integrations between cloud and on-premise applications. I create the integration between Salesforce and SAP systems in Oracle Integration Cloud Service. I start by creating an SAP connection for my integration using the SAP connector in the wizard. As I provide the connection name, the identifier is automatically generated based on that name. After the SAP connection is created, I configure the SAP endpoint connection properties, such as connection name, application server, client, language, and system number. Because the SAP endpoint is password protected, I add the required credentials. Once the SAP connection is configured, I test the connectivity and verify that it's successful. Once the SAP connection is marked as configured, it's ready to use within integrations. On the connections page, I create another connection. This time I use a Salesforce adapter. Just as before, the identifier is automatically generated based on the connection name. After the Salesforce connection is created, I configure the connection properties to the Salesforce endpoint. To do this, I use a WSDL file that contains the endpoint details. This WSDL file was created when configuring the object outbound message in the Salesforce system. The Salesforce endpoint is password protected, so I add the required credentials. Once the connection is configured in ICS, I test the connectivity and verify that it's successful. The Salesforce connection is now marked as configured. On the home page, I continue with the creation of the integration between the Salesforce and SAP connections. I provide information about the integration, putting a name and an identifier. I can optionally provide a package name and a description. The version number is automatically generated. The integration canvas is displayed with all the available fully configured connections. I start the integration by setting the SAP connection as the integration target. I enter some identifying information for the SAP endpoint. I select the business object by filtering the SAP object types and group. I want to change the personal data of a customer on the SAP system, so I set the function to complete this operation. I review the default properties of the connector. These properties include stateless interaction, and activated schema validation. Finally, I verify that the selected SAP object is the RFC function to change the customer data. The SAP connection is created and configured as the target connection. Now, I continue configuring the integration by using the configured Salesforce connection as the source. I provide a meaningful name to the Salesforce endpoint reference. Because I want to receive notifications about the account object, I select some of the account fields from the list. I build the field conditions based on the account number. I also want to receive notifications when the account gets created, so I configure the event notification. I want a CRUD business operation to be performed when my response is successful. I verify my selections for my Salesforce Cloud Connection configuration. The configuration summary displays the account object and its selected fields, as well as the event notification. The integration between Salesforce and SAP is configured and ready for activation. Thank you for watching. For more information, visit oracle.cloud.com forward slash integration.